Take a moment and think back to your first memories in the Orthodox Church. Maybe it was lighting a candle in the narthex, or doing your cross and kissing the icon as you entered the sanctuary. What about the smell of the incense coming from the censer? For me, when I was a young boy, I can remember picking up a church bulletin and reading St. John Chrysostom Divine Liturgy, 10 a.m. I thought to myself, wow, how incredible must this saint's life have been to have his name associated with the Divine Liturgy. I wanted to learn more. Out of the church's 2,000 year history, there are some 800 Orthodox saints, both men and women. Some are considered equal to the apostles because of their contributions to the church. A select few were considered the church fathers because of their wisdom and intellect. But only one saint holds the title Chrysostomos, or the Golden Mouth. That title was reserved for John of Antioch. St. John came to the Orthodox Church later in life. He was baptized at the age of 23. Soon after, he became an Orthodox priest and later served as Patriarch of Constantinople in the 6th century. But what he is remembered for the most are his sermons, teachings, and commentary on the Church and on the Word of God. If any man be devout and love God, let him enjoy this fair and radiant triumphal feast. If any man be a wise servant, let him, rejoicing, enter into the joy of his Lord. If any have labored in fasting, let him now receive his recompense. This quote is from the beginning of St. John's sermon given every year on the greatest day in the Orthodox Church, Holy Pascha. His emotions are revealed in every sentence and phrase, talk of triumph, glory, and celebration. For all, not just those who attend church on a regular basis, or keep the strict fast. But every single one of us should be filled with love and joy, for Christ has risen from the dead. This sermon is powerful from beginning to end. He later emphasizes that inclusiveness, saying, You rich and poor, together, hold high festival. You attentive and you heedless, honor the day. Rejoice today, both who have fasted and who has disregarded the fast. St. John is able to convey a message that does not just radiate hope, but also reassures us that we can always be with God. He closes with reminding us, let no one fear death, for the Savior's death has set us free. While his sermon is read every year on Pascha, St. John Chrysostom's impact and influence can be found on any Orthodox Church on any given day. This particular oratorical festival is named after St. John Chrysostom because of his oratorical abilities to absorb the Word of God and give commentary on how we should live out our lives as Orthodox Christians. The Church holds him in such high regard that out of the three liturgies we use throughout the year, the most common and widely used Divine Liturgy, including most Sunday, is St. John Chrysostom's Divine Liturgy. It is considered shorter and less rhetorical than the others and it is known for its simplicity, clarity, passion, and appeal to all from beginning to end. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto ages of ages. Amen. St. John Chrysostom's influence, whether you're a small boy reading a church bulletin or a church archon, can inspire us to live like Christ. Let no one fear death, for the Savior's death has set us free. Thank you.